Righto, um, fuel pump gasket is um, sitting in place, the two surfaces are being cleaned up and yeah, we'll try and jiggle this thing on and get a bolt started. Just a matter of trying to line your, line your tangs up on your coupling. Um, sort of see your three, three tangs there and you've got the same mirror surface on that um, gasket and fuel pump end. Get you sitting back up where you should be. But um, yeah, so anyway, hopefully it will just go on somewhat easily. <clears throat> we got him started anyway. It's not too bad, really. Sort of get to the thing all right. Um, line the coupling up. The fuel pump end spins pretty freely, so it's not too bad just to line up with your accessory drive. Um, so now we'll just do the rest of these bolts up. Obviously, that inside one's a bit of a chore, as anyone who's worked on a Cummins will know. Um, I haven't really done a lot on these at all, just a little bit of big cam stuff, a um, little bit of 14 litre, later model 14 litre stuff, but um, yeah, a lot of things on this engine look the same. Um, some of the gaskets are interchangeable, you know, I think your intake gaskets and exhaust gaskets are pretty similar. Obviously pump gaskets are the same and um, yeah, probably even your top manifold gaskets and things like that, but um, the lid gaskets are a little bit different, I think, um, and obviously the head gaskets would be too, you know, because it's a 743 cubic inch bore, ah, uh, sorry, cubic inch engine rather than a um, 855. So. Um, yeah, so anyway, but I mean, to look at, if you, if you just had a quick look and didn't take note of the supercharge, you'd probably just think it was a, a um, 855. Yeah, it's got later, uh, sorry, earlier fuel system on on this one where it uses um, your um, inlet, fuel inlet and, and outlet. Um, if you can see that in that or not, but but yeah, your inlet and outlet for each cylinder. Um, whereas the later ones just had fuel going in at the front and returning at the back. I think, it, I think they're that way from memory, that crossovers between each head. So yeah, this is just a bit of an earlier style.
So just got a um, one of the batteries on charge around that other side. Um, it's got three batteries in the back of it, um, and the isolation switch has been off on it. So um, I'll put a bit in this one over here. I just had it hooked up. The old starter motor spins a bit slow in it, so I just wanted as much crank and power as I possibly could last time I tried it. And um, so I'll, I'll zap a bit more into that battery on the other side. And then as we get closer to cranking it over, I'll, um, I'll probably just put a little bit of charge in those back ones. There's the challenging one. Forgetting I've got the thing off actually, to be honest. near impossible. I don't know how I got the bugger off. him ever so slowly, just one little click at a time on the ratchet spanner. <clears throat> just have to jam a screwdriver in beside the head of the bolt so it doesn't turn.
still got a bit of fuel in them. So when it's right to go, I might nearly um, <clears throat> just I'll fill that filter up there, I reckon, and and um, put a little bit down that line. It might just help it sort of pick pick it up that bit easier. And a little bit of experience I've had with these things, which isn't a lot, I might add. Um, yeah, look, the only way to, to get fuel through them is just to to wind it through. So. Have a little bit of fuel on hand for it, it might just make it that bit easier. Not sure about that piece yet. Whether I'll um, whether I'll try and work it all from this side, or whether I just put my faith in the the fuel pump was done right and work all the controls from the cabin. You know, the throttle and the key. And uh, but anyway, well, just not quite sure on that one yet. But otherwise, I'll just work this throttle lever from here. Work the decompression lever here. Um, whether I can get someone else to give me a hand just to turn the key over or, or whether I set up a remote trigger so I can start it from here. Um, I haven't quite thought that far ahead yet, as you can probably tell. But anyway, um, See if we can find a new bit of hose for that, eh? That's pretty ordinary. Quarter. Should have some quarter stuff around somewhere. 